Welcome back to an episode of the Finn's Chairs. In this video, I'm going to be giving you all of my Finzy predictions for the NFL 2022 season, starting with the divisional leaders, all the way to the playoffs, all the way to the Super Bowl matchup, all the way to the MVP of the league. You better stay tuned for this video. There are some spicy takes, and I am sure to be roasted in the comments. It happens basically every video now, so uh, let's get into it. The NFL 2022 season presented by me, The Fins. Let's go. Okay, I thought I should start this list with just straight up saying the teams that will suck this season. So we got the Seahawks, the Texans, the Falcons, and the Bears. Seahawks, yikes. Drew Locke at quarterback, that's really all you can do. Need I say more? Texans. Uh, it's the same thing as last year. Need I say more? Nothing really changed. The Falcons, they lost Matt Ryan. They have Marcus Mariota. Maybe he'll be good. Maybe not. But regardless, huge downgrade. Plus, the Falcons already stunk. So, yeah, they're definitely going to suck. And then we got the Bears. I do feel bad for the Bears. I mean, Justin Field, he's like a Trubisky 2.0 at this point. He can't buy a break with his own team. The O-line needs help. They continue to not help the O-line. And this poor guy, Justin Fields, keeps breaking his neck every play. That is not good. Bears will not be good. And I'm very sorry. Now, you might be saying, Finns, where are the Jets Giants, Lions, and Jaguars. Aren't those teams going to suck too? Well, I honestly think that there are 28 teams in the NFL that could make the playoffs. These just happen to be the four that will not do it. Okay, the AFC South, quite the stacked division. Who will be the divisional winner? Well, I have the Indianapolis Colts. Notice the sarcasm. This division sucks ass. We got the Jaguars and the Texans. LOL. And then another LOL. Then we got the Titans. Okay. They lost A.J. Brown, but, you know, Derrick Henry will be Derrick Henry, so there's always a chance. But the Colts, they got Matt Ryan. The offense is going to finally be flowing, and the defense was good regardless. So I think this is the year the Colts just pulled through the division and probably will be a first-round bounce. The AFC North. Okay, we got the Steelers, Ravens, Browns, Bengals. Now, who did I pick to win the AFC North? Well, I picked the baltimore ravens now you might be saying fins well the Bengals made the super bowl last year and they also got better in the off season well let me tell you this the only reason the ravens did not make the playoffs last year is because they were riddled with injuries it seemed like every week a new person was added to the injury report for baltimore but this season they're finally heading into it fully healthy lamar jackson is fully back he has his running back core back he has jk dobbins with them they did lose marcus brown but they got mark andrews they never really needed marcus brown anyway and their defense is loaded just as ever so i think this is the year the ravens finally take hold of the afc north afc west now this is probably the most stacked division in football and this was the hardest answer I could think of. We have the Chiefs. They're going to be good every year. We have the Chargers. With Herbert, they're going to probably be good every year. The Raiders, low-key, but... You cannot sleep on the Denver Broncos any longer. Now they got Russell Wilson. Last year, they were a defensively stout team. They always have a good defense. The problem with the Broncos has always been their offense almost every single year. They're like the AFC Chicago Bears, except now they have Russell Wilson. They have Cortland Sutton. They have Jerry Judy. They have Javante Williams. I mean, come on. This is going to be a savage team, and I would not be surprised if they were the number one team in all of the NFL. AFC East. Now, this division is a little tricky. We got the Bills, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets. Now, of course, Jets are not going to win this division. And then the Patriots, they got worse in the offseason, so I don't see them winning the division. Therefore, it comes down to the Bills and Dolphins and Bills. Is, this is kind of self-explanatory here. Bills just probably have the best team on paper in the entire league from top to bottom offense to defense they also added von miller because screw it why not and von miller this team is going to be a dangerous threat now that brings me to the afc wild cards now there's only two wild card teams i could pick now with the teams that didn't win the divisions you might be saying fins well it seems like there's one too many good teams you're going to leave out of the playoffs 
that is correct because I'm only putting the Bengals and the Chiefs in. Notice the Chargers are not in, the Raiders are not in, the Dolphins are not in, the Steelers are not in, and that's basically all the notable teams. But the Bengals, come on, they got better in the offseason and they just made the Super Bowl. They got to make the playoffs. And the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes is not going to let the Chiefs not make the Super Bowl. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Not make the playoffs. <laughs> he, with the. Chiefs Super Bowl. Now that brings us to the NFC. Now my first spicy hot take is the NFC South. We have the Saints, Panthers, Falcons, and Buccaneers. Okay, Buccaneers, probably gonna be a lot of people's picks to be the shoe in number one. However, I think Tom Brady, this is the year. This is the year he's no longer Tom Brady. I mean, the problems at home with Giselle, that you see what he looked like at the press conference interview, this is not Tom Brady. Therefore, the Panthers are taking it. I said it. The Panthers are winning the NFC South. Yes, I'm a Panthers fan. I'll say it. I'm a Panthers fan. But they have a stacked team. And people are just continuously sleeping on the stacked Panthers. They have CMC, who hopefully if he plays 10 games, they're going to win 10 games. <laughs> JC Horn is coming back. He was going to be Defensive Rookie of the Year last year. Broke his foot. L. Now he's back, though. Now we got Baker Mayfield at the quarterback. The only reason I think he sucked last year is because he had a torn labrum, whatever, shoulder. He needed something to do with his rotate. He couldn't throw because he was hurt. How is nobody getting this? The Panthers are gonna be the most slept on team in the NFL, and I'm gonna love every second of it. The NFC North, we have the Packers, Vikings, Bears, and Lions. Now, I'm just gonna say, I'm, I'm the Packers are winning this division, okay? I do have hot takes. That is the point of this video, is for me to spew my hot takes at you guys, but how hot of a take can I really do for the NFC North? I mean, the Bears suck. The Lions, I can see them winning eight games, potentially. The Vikings, now the Vikings, the most unlucky team in the NFL, there is a chance their luck turns around, but it's the Vikings, so I'm not, I'm not gonna put too much, uh, <laughs> too much credence in the Vikings. So Aaron Rodgers is a safe pick, so Aaron Rodgers is the pick. NFC West, okay, we got the Seahawks, the Cardinals, the Niners, and the Rams. Who could I possibly pick? Of course I picked the Rams. Am I an idiot? No. The Seahawks, L. The Cardinals, eh. And the Niners, Trey Lance, eh. I still do think the Niners will make the playoffs. Stay tuned for that. But the Rams are the Bills of the NFC. Stacked top to bottom. Not a single hole in their entire team. Super Bowl hangover is the only reason I can see this team not being good. But come on, it's, it's, it's going to be hard. NFC East. Giants, Washington, Cowboys, Philly. Who could I have picked to win the NFC East? Well, I picked the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'll tell you why. The Cowboys is everybody's pick for this division. I can understand that. They have a good offense and they have a good defense. They did lose some defensive pieces, though. It gets me a little worried. And Zeke seems to be on the decline. So I think the Cowboys need to shake something up in order to make a good run in the NFC East. I don't think it's going to be as easy of a cakewalk as a lot of people say it will. I would say the Philadelphia Eagles are like the Baltimore Ravens of the AFC. Yes, Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson. That's all you need. You need a good running quarterback that has a decent enough arm and you have decent enough receivers. You got A.G. Brown. You got Devontae Smith now. You have an okay running core. You have an okay defense. I think that'll be just enough to win the NFC East over the Cowboys. And then the Giants, yeah. And then Washington, maybe, maybe Carson Wentz does something. Maybe, maybe there's some revenge games on the horizon for Carson Wentz. Maybe Washington pulls through. I can easily see them being second place. But the Eagles are taking the NFC East. Now that brings it to NFC wild cards. I did kind of spoil it because I said the Niners were making the playoffs. But the other team is, of course, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I, uh, I'm not going to go that crazy and say Tom Brady straight up won't make the playoffs. But, you know, you got to throw Tom Brady in there because I'm not a clown. That. Uh, I understand the comments may make me seem like a clown, but I'm not that much of a clown, okay? Now, the NFL MVP. I know I just said I'm not a clown. Let me preface it by that. But I'm, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. We got Baker Mayfield plus 8,000. I mean, if my predictions are correct, he would win MVP. You know what I'm saying? If Panthers win the NFC South, that means they had to have beaten Tom Brady once or even twice. They had to have beaten the Saints, who were pretty good, once or even twice. They had to have beaten maybe the top teams in the league, like the Packers, the Rams, other teams in the AFC, the Chiefs, the Broncos. They had to have gone through those teams to have won the division. And if that's the case, if they're winning 
Baker is probably savaging, therefore MVP. You know, it's a logical MVP based on my predictions. Obviously, if I predicted the Bucks to win a division, I wouldn't have Baker as MVP, but everything needs to line up and Baker will win MVP. Now I did have a second selection for MVP and it's Trey Lance. Okay, if the Niners are good, if the Niners put up 11 wins with Trey Lance as a starting quarterback, that means they must have adapted their offense to fit Trey Lance in a Ravens or Eagles-esque offense where it's like Jalen Hurts. Lamar Jackson. Well, now we got Trey Lance, and he has a better arm than all three. That's a hot take, I guess. I mean, and if he were to do that, he wins MVP, and his odds are even lower than Baker Mayfield. Like, so there's something going on here, and I think Kyle Shanahan knows what's up. So, if he wins MVP, I'm not saying it's rigged, but you know, always a chance. And that brings me to the final slide: Super Bowl 57. Who are the two teams? Well, I'll preface this by saying my picks last year was Panthers versus Packers. And that didn't work out. So this year we got the Broncos versus the Rams. I'm not going to pick the Panthers again, although it wouldn't make sense. You know, usually the MVP actually doesn't make the Super Bowl or doesn't win the Super Bowl, should I say, which is strange. Therefore, Baker wins MVP. Panthers probably not going to win the Super Bowl. Broncos, best team, in my opinion, stacked top to bottom in the AFC. Yes, there's the Bills. All right. Broncos, I think, take them. I think. Then we got the Rams. That's a pretty slam dunk choice. Also, best team top to bottom. Broncos, Rams, sign me up for this Super Bowl. Super Bowl 57, brought to you by the Finns. Thank you for watching the episode of Finns Chats. Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And I hope you enjoyed my predictions because, damn, those are some spicy takes in the comments or... Gonna ride my ass again, but um, thanks for tuning in and make sure you do all those things and see you later, Savage.